screwed them in there. Got that little TV now. We're getting a little load going. Need something to fill up that empty space right there. And we will have a great load going. Good morning, YouTube. I'm going to do a junk removal job for my house. A small house up here on this street on the right. It is furniture and trash, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if it's more than one full load, but I was going to get some footage of a junk removal job today. I do have some metal to scrap later, but for right now, I'm doing this job first thing in the morning. There's a little dog running around up the street. Uh, I'll get some footage when I get started. Thank you. It's all these sticks, all these bags. It's all bagged up. There's a little bit of metal thrown in here. And then all this. Sheesh, it's a lot. There's a couch too, and a little refrigerator and some computers. It's a lot of scrap value in here. I'm gonna put that in first. Uh, this might be more than one load. We shall see. But I'm gonna get started loading up now. Okay, basically we got a whole load filled up, and now I'm gonna cut some of these branches off of these trees. So I can pile this even higher. We got all these bags. There's a helper here as well. Um, it's going to be another whole load. There's couches, a bunch of stuff up here as well. I'm going to have to get on the next load. But we got that one piled up pretty quickly. So let me get done here. I'm on the way to the landfill. I have roughly 11 minutes left. My truck is packed. There's uh, all these trees hanging up. You can almost see it from the front. And uh, so we're gonna take all this to the landfill, Seagull World, and then we're gonna come back and get a whole nother load. And I am gonna separate the metal and wire and appliances from the trash, meaning keep the metal on my truck and take it to my storage unit on the way back for the second load, like real fast. And then after the second load, I gotta come back to the landfill and take all the rest of the appliances out of there. And then I'm gonna have roughly a half a load of scrap already ready, which I won't be paying to throw out. Everything must go. Let's go see all the seagulls and dirt. We're going to the dump, YouTube. White Marsh, Maryland, we're almost there. We are entering Dave's Cove landfill right now. Up there is the hill we're going to, but it takes almost a mile to get there, I would say. Uh, run this up there and get some footage. Everything must go, YouTube. Bright and early on a Monday, YouTube. Okay, I'm at the landfill. I didn't get footage. Uh, these wires I'm throwing in my in my storage unit. I threw all this pile of trash out and stuff. And you see all the birds and everything. And we're about to head out and head back to that lady's house. After I stopped by my storage unit, I kind of wasted like way too long at that dump just now but everything in the back of my truck whoops i'll edit that out everything in the back of my truck can be scrapped so i'm gonna go to my storage unit throw it all in there and head right back to that lady's house now i'm in a hurry because that took me forever all right let's go do it all again okay i'm about to be at my storage unit i'm gonna save all this tons and tons of wire i think they were a scrapper there's a whole bunch of computer boards and stuff like the people that recover the gold and uh there's a lot of them like 30 of them or something of the sd cards and the expansions and all that go inside of computers so i'm gonna go in my storage unit throw all this out and head back to the real job. quick want to show you this pile i got i'm literally just throwing it in a pile there's a bunch of sd uh memory for computers they got gold pins on them and uh, i'm throwing all this in there real quick and then i'm heading out i'm trying to rush but it's all scrap so i'm not getting rid of it
Okay, so we just got that whole big pile off of there. We loaded it all up in here. There's two little couches in there. The cushions are up front. And there's like a million bags of clothes and wires and all kind of stuff in there. We got a nice strap over the top so nothing can go nowhere. And there's more uh, metal and wire all thrown in this load as well. Definitely out here working. Gonna go to the landfill after I get payment and then see if I have time to go to the scrap yard today. I don't think I do. But we'll try if we can. Second trip at the landfill. I just got weighed on their scale. Going way up on that hill. Uh, got my truck packed full again. There is some more scrap stuff in here. There's a little refrigerator and stuff. When I do junk removal, I see what metal I can re-scrap. So it, it seems kind of petty, but another thing is whatever metal you do save to scrap, you're not paying the dump. Makes your load a little bit less. We'll go up here and dump this stuff and then be done for the junk removal part. And I don't think I have time to go to the scrap yard today. It's almost two o'clock. I might be able to fly over there but I wouldn't have a 100% full load, so I might wait until tomorrow or the following morning because I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. As well. Okay, landfill trip number two. Just threw these couches and all these bags out. There's a bunch of appliances and old computers. All this came from that first load, and then there's more at my storage unit that all needs to go to the scrapyard probably first thing tomorrow morning. But that wasn't so bad of a job. Pretty successful to say the least. On to the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, I am back at my storage unit. With a ridiculous pile of wires and stuff to go through. Before I can take it to the scrapyard. I want to go through and set, cut wires off of stuff. I spend maybe a half hour loading this up. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to take it to the yard. The guy was a scrapper, like I said. So many of these little uh, CPU boards and all that kind of stuff. You can put them on eBay. I might put them to the side since there's so many and see what I can do with them. I got some rotors and other junk in here I got to throw in there. But I'll be ready in the morning instead of rushing down there today. After two junk removal jobs, uh, I could actually make it to the scrapyard, but it would be like really pushing it. Okay, YouTube. So I've been at my storage unit forever, cutting a million cords off of all these devices and appliances. There's all kind of old monitors, speakers. This is just trash. Plastic that's not scrap. Uh... I mean, I could probably get away with throwing a whole lot of that in the yard, but I'm going to go get rid of it. I ain't going to. I don't know. But I separated good. All this is non-ferrous aluminum. There's a car battery. And uh, that's like steel and stuff up there. And I actually didn't do everything. This is a little bit of plastic and wires left, but I'm done. It's almost like 6 p.m. And I got some of this stuff to go through at a different time, but not right now. Not bad. Basically, not all of this, but most of this came from the junk removal job today. And then some of it came from the other day. I made a short video taking the foam and the covering off of a car seat. That's right there. Here's a car door. And there's some more little car parts in there, too. I'm tired of cutting wires. I just cut like 7 million of them. So we're going to stop right there. I got to work early tomorrow morning. Scrap yard first. I get more footage tomorrow. Everything has to go. So because I'm such a stubborn person. Instead of uh, going to the grocery store and coming home. I rode through these little apartments. Right by where I was. There's a TV and some frame chairs. I'm gonna grab them and throw them in here too. Cause like I was saying, I don't have a lot of steel weight on here. So I'm gonna put more weight on there just because.
Threw them in there, got that little TV now. We're getting a little low going. Need something to fill up that empty space right there. And we will have a great load going. Good morning, good morning. I am about five minutes away from the scrap yard. At the end of yesterday, I put me grabbing a few chair frames and a little TV. And then uh, on the way here this morning, I got up and left out around 8.15. I put a shopping cart in the back as well. We're fully packed back there. And I'm gonna go offload all this crap and see what we get. I'm supposed to go do another job as soon as I'm finished. We shall see. Stand by. We are down the scrap yard. I'm gonna go get weighed up for the steel first. And I got a decent amount of non-ferrous to get rid of ASAP. The scale is weighing 7,400 pounds. That's good. I should have over a thousand pounds, over a half ton of steel there's a bunch of appliances with plastic on them in here i don't know if they're going to say anything like old alarm clocks old fans but a lot of it does have metal but we shall see let's go we're down dundalk maryland ladies and gentlemen bright and early you gotta work today Start throwing it out now. Keep throwing everything out and then get footage when we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, that equaled 1180 pounds. And I gotta go do the non fair still. There's a bunch of wire and aluminum back there. I got a little bit of copper here. It's not a whole lot. Basically, I'm emptying my bed right now, but uh, 1100. It's going to be $118 in steel, roughly, 10 cents a pound, and then we shall see. I'm going to go take care of this now. Thank you very much, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, that was successful. We're leaving out of there now. It was, uh... Okay, the non-ferrous, everything together came to a total of $62.38 plus the 118 equaled 180. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's not bad, that's left over from a junk removal job. I'm going to do two more right now. Today's 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. It's very, very bad out here today and cold. It felt like 20 some degrees this morning. But we're out here working. We got a pretty empty bed now. Everything must go you too. Motivation, determination, and dedication. All those. Hello, YouTube. So. I made a whole video yesterday. I recorded all the junk removal I did, all the work I did and everything. And uh, today the same lady uh, did two more 
full load runs for her chunk removal and her husband or her brother that passed happened to be a scrapper like i said on my video yesterday you guys could see everything so the second full load if you look their whole storage was full of e-waste tons and tons and tons of e-waste look at this that's unbelievable and the reason i'm taking it out of my truck is so i can separate it all better cut all the cords off and stuff like that and i'm going an apartment complex not far from here they're cleaning all their furniture for the pool they're getting rid of it and they're getting new stuff i'm like absolutely i want all of it he said it's so much i couldn't get it all today problem is i'm putting all this in my unit and i won't have more room in here probably tonight or i would come back and get all of the furniture that guy even had a whole bunch of these uh like a whole bunch of these boards and memory and stuff and i heard you get on boardsort.com i think you mail it and they send you money or you put i'm gonna try to sell it right on ebay like a lot take everything but yeah that's ridiculous how much stuff they had how much of this out of four loads i did for them probably one and a half was full of wires and scrap maybe two almost literally it's a lot of scrap all right everybody